Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really fun one. It's going to be every single book I read in the year 2020. I think I've mentioned it a few times, but my New Year's resolution for 2020 was actually to read 52 books, which if you do the math, that's a book a week. I can say I accomplished it. It is December 15th when I am filming this and as you guys can tell I kind of wanted this to be super cozy so like my Christmas tree's on sitting by my bookshelf I didn't really get ready for this um so hopefully you guys don't mind that but I thought I would show you guys every single book I read in 2020 and then I also have a stack of books that I plan on reading to go ahead and section off this um video in certain parts like fiction books I'll have self-help books slash Christian books and then I have a uh, poetry section and then audiobooks there's a whole bunch of sections you guys can look at the description down below to see if there's a certain section you want to look at I'll just show you guys this um, every time I read a book I wrote it right here so most of these books I have some of them were audiobooks or some were in my high school library just insert like a picture of it or something like that I guess let's go ahead and get started I just have all my books like right here so I'll try to keep this pretty organized but if it's not I'm really sorry um anyways let's get started first one we have is Little Women by Louisa um, May Alcott classic book definitely would recommend it is a thick one though next I have Where the Crawdads Sing I can't believe it took me this long to read this book it is so good definitely different than what I normally read but again I would also recommend this next I have holding up the universe by Jennifer Niven um, the reason I chose to read this book is because I read um, all the bright places if you can see it right there um, love that book love that movie definitely would recommend that this one was a little bit different but I also thought it was great I read this towards the beginning of the year so I don't remember too much about it but I do know it talks um, about body positivity and like two worlds colliding I would definitely recommend this book they actually have three books from one author her name is Hannah Ornstein actually read this book first I think I saw it at Walmart or something uh, during the beginning of quarantine and I really wanted a new book it's called love at first like and because I like this book um, I got playing with matches I think this was her first ever novel second novel um, they're very very cheesy kind of like remind me of like I mean they're like college age romances but um they're very easy and i really liked it and earlier um in like the school year starting she came out with head over heels so yeah i can say i have all of her books i would recommend them if you're looking for a cute romance easy novel to read all of these are great next i have the hating game this is also another romance novel maddie mayo recommended this on her tiktok it's actually super good um there is a little bit of scandalous stuff going on but i think it's a great book i actually kind of want to reread this book so recommend this i have two more books um from one author so i'll start with the seven husbands of evelyn hugo katie bilotti recommended this and i think i got it for my birthday from london this book is so good if anybody asked me what my favorite book that i read this year honestly i think i would say this book it was just such such a different story and i don't know i really enjoyed this book and um i recommended this to london's mom and she actually read One True Loves by the same author Taylor Jenkins Reid and she was like oh this book is so good I would definitely recommend it and so I got it off of thrift books and I read that so two books um super good romance I really like it I would definitely recommend using thrift books to get books it's obviously thrifted books it's all online um you can get books at different prices and you're not supporting like a website like Amazon I know it's not technically a small shop but I would definitely recommend it. And also you can get books that are cheaper than you can Amazon or any other place, so. This is actually the first series I read of 2020 and it is the After series. Read this entire series in a week, um, five days. It was like a book a day. Like I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, so good. I read the fan fiction when it was on Wattpad and I just wanna say like I wasn't, a One Direction fan. I don't know if that's gonna get me any hate. Hopefully not. Like, I think they're great, but like, I was I was never like a super stan. But um, 
I found the series on Wattpad and I thought it was really good. So um, when the movie came out, I thought I would read it. Um, so yeah, that explains this. Read the book Altered. This book is really good. I got this many Christmases ago. I have read it so many times. I read this book in a day. This is a book that if I just want um, like a feel, feel good book that deals with like vampires and fantasy romance. Um, I read this and this lady, she actually knew my dad and his brother. So I think that's really cool. But yeah, this is a super easy read and I really like it. Okay, last for like our fiction section that I actually have in hand with me. We have the selection series. I read this my junior year of high school and decided to reread it this year. I read it, um fall of 2020 super good such an easy series i also have the um the like i don't even know what this is called the companion to the selection series but yeah definitely recommend it and i've read all of the books by kiara cast actually so she has this series then she also has a singular book called the siren i read that and then she came out with the betrothed or betrothed sorry i don't really know how to pronounce it but she came out with this in the summer and i read it Allison, my roommate, actually just got this for me for Christmas, and I read it in like three days, I think. But I'm excited. She has one more book for this series coming out June of 2021 or July of 2021. I'm not sure, but I can't wait to read that. I'm going to go in here and see what fiction books I could not um, have in front of me. Little White Lies, I'm assuming I got that at the school library. So have Matched, Cross, and Reach. That is a three-part series. I tried to read this in middle school, but I couldn't, so I read it my senior year of high school. Read I Was Here. That one was really good, actually. From what I know, that is all the, like, hard copy fiction books, romance books I read this year. We're going to move on to poetry books. First one I have is For the Broken, Poetry to me is like just really simple, like um, you can reflect on these, but I just kind of like sat down, read both of these. Um, the next one is The Chaos of Longing. I think these are great. Um, Gracie actually has this sign from the author and I think that's really nice, but these are the two poetry books I read this year. I also had a like tabletop book um, in the dorm and it's called She Inspires. It's kind of, it's not poetry necessarily, but it's... Um, it's a simple book. I got it at Target. I really like it, but I also read that. Now I'm going to start with my like self-help Christian books. So the first one I have is The Hand of God. Um, I got this as a grad present. I read it. Super good. It talks about Joseph's story. Um, I would recommend this. I'm pretty sure the author is from the UK or something like that. Maybe Scotland. I don't know. I think he's from Europe, but it was very interesting. I always love learning more about um, people in the Bible, so I would definitely definitely recommend this if you want to learn more about Joseph and his story Next I have the chase. I actually bought this a while ago and I read it in the new year I decided to read it just that way I am dating someone and I want to make sure our relationship is for God and You know, we're gonna be dating for the long run So I would definitely recommend this even if you're not in a relationship. I think it's great. It's by Kyle and Kelsey Kupecki. Sorry if I don't know if I'm not pronouncing that right, but they give you just like simple tips on how you can approve um, romantic relationships or even friendships. Um, so I would recommend this. Next, I have Live by Sadie Robertson. She came out with this in January, I believe. Such a good book. It was my first time reading anything from Sadie Robertson. So super, super good. Next, I have some Bob Goff books. I have every, or everybody always and love does i want to read his new book just because i think these are so good the stories in here are so relatable and you can learn so much from them I don't even know how to say bob goff christian guy has done so much good for the world and i would i don't i would just definitely recommend these um either to read them borrow them or get them from their books next i have get out of your head by jenny allen this is kind of like a christian based um self-help book super good i read this in quarantine and it did help me a lot 100 percent would recommend this so i'm just saying like would recommend everything and i'm sorry but like all of these books i read for a reason and i'm showing you guys for a reason Anyways, so my next one I have is Atomic Habits. I feel like this was super popular, especially in quarantine. I read it because Ava Jules recommended it. And oh my gosh, guys, I think my life changed because of this. This is a book that if you're struggling, you can just go back to and read over and over again. It's nice because the author 
doesn't just say oh you need to fix this he gives you clear instructions on how to fix it and um, how to start new habits it's just really good if you're struggling with um, any bad habits or you want to start good ones obviously this is the place to start next i have this book it's called 13 things mentally strong women don't do i know the title is kind of off-putting and for me i'm just like okay um but i do think there were some good tips in here um i don't know like the title is the only thing that's kind of throwing me off but i do like this book i got it at target i just needed a new book to read woman based but if you want to read um a book like this there's an option and for the last book that i have i know this isn't self-help or christian based but it's a memoir and i decided to include it in this section no joke i've had this book probably since elementary school i swear i bought it at dollar general i swear i've had it forever because i was like i need to read this um i think honestly this was my first memoir i ever read i don't know it's called recipes for disaster by s Rafferty. i don't know who this lady is i don't know why my elementary school mind wanted me to buy this book but i did i read it there's recipes there's good stories um i don't know if i would necessarily recommend this unless you know her but i mean i had it in on my bookshelf so i decided to read it so yeah katie robertson i did read live original i borrowed it from london sister i believe that was her second book so i read the third and the second book actually that might be the first book live original i think that might be the first book so i read the first and third book i also read another self-help book um from my friend bailey it's called own your every day uh, i can't remember who the author is but i know i uh listen to her podcast for a little bit i read that book in one day um i think i read it close to when i read um get out of your head really enjoy it okay so i think that's it i didn't realize how disorganized this is right now i swear i have read 52 plus books you guys can count if you want but anyways we're gonna move on to my school text before i get into my hard copies um we did read frankenstein along with hundreds not hundreds i should not say that multiple short stories but i'm not gonna list them all but i do know frankenstein is a novel so i did decide to count that we also read sex in the heartland for another one of my classes i lent it to one of my friends so i don't have the hard copy but that book is really really good frankenstein's a classic so like you should read it it's really short at least to me it was short sex in the heartland is also good it's about the town that my um university is in lawrence kansas and it's so interesting i really enjoyed that book it i was highlighting so many things it just made me like think like wow okay okay i do have some copies in my hand so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so for my english class we read song of solomon this is a really really good book something i would not have read without the class but I would, I would definitely recommend this book. It talks about race and heritage and I don't know. I think it's a really powerful novel and I would definitely recommend it. Another book that we read for my English class was 100 Years of Solitude. This also talks about race. It has some historical context in it, um, most, mostly Colombian history. Um, but this was super popular. It's, I don't want to say it's a classic. But, oh, it is. It's a classic. I can't say it's a classic. Anyway. This book is super, super interesting. I would recommend this. And then the last book that I have in front of me for my English class, like we read Frankenstein in my English class, is um, The Spirit Catches You and You Fall Down. This was a great book. Um, it talks, again, about race, two different cultures, the Hmong people. Um, and it also talks about, like, like, medicine which is my number one reason for reading it it was super good and if you guys are looking for something that talks about culture i would recommend this and for my introduction to american history we read three books and then a lot of like essays and stuff but the three i have in front of me is first starting with seizing freedom by david rodiger um this talks about slaves emancipation liberty women's right women's rights i learned a lot in this book it's kind of like history textbook i don't really know how to explain it but that there's that and we read being human this book is so good this is like i said i think this is my second ever memoir like 
this was my first one i think this was my second one but i believe she came out with this in 2020 i actually got to sit in a meeting with her and chat with her and she has just done some bad a things i don't cuss i don't i don't cuss but like she is ways yeah this talks about disability disability rights um and it also talks a little bit about the black panthers and how they helped with the disability acts movement um, I would definitely recommend this book. I think everyone should read this book. It makes, it opens up your eyes and like I, I thought of things that I never thought about before. So, would recommend. The last scholarly book I have is again for my introduction to American history. It's called We Demand. This book was really good. It's really, really short. Only four chapters with like an introduction and conclusion. Um, it talked about university and student protests. And I'm pretty sure like all, all of these were written by people that kind of knew the University of Kansas or who had um, maybe taught there or something. Same with Sex in the Heartland. That was for my sex and power class. And that was written by a professor there. But yeah, honestly, I never thought I would enjoy school books, but I really did enjoy those books. All the rest of the books I have were audiobooks. I have read a few audiobooks, so I'm going to go ahead and listen here. What I have is The Vanishing Half. That book is so good. It talks about race, two different identities. Would 100% recommend that book. I have chills right now thinking about that. Um, all of the audiobooks I've read have actually been super good read, listen to. The next one I have is Untamed. That one's by Glennon Doyle. It was actually so good. Um, I didn't know what I expected, but I wasn't expecting that type of book because I didn't know who Glennon Doyle was, but I so enjoyed that book. It was so good and made me feel empowered and yeah, would definitely recommend that. Such a fun age. That one also touches on race. Super good. Um, plot twist I was not expecting. Well, kind of, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil anything, but those three books right there, super good super good <laughs> that's what i just said so i have wilder girls this is the most recent audiobook i have read um it was really good i saw it on tiktok not something i usually would read or listen to um it's about like teenage girls and it's almost like a horror i don't even know how i would explain it it's like an unexplained illness has plagued these girls in a boarding school um, I didn't really like the ending, but it was a good read nevertheless. Anyways, yeah, I'm 95% sure these are all the books that I read this year, um, but I didn't want to end the video off yet. I wanted to show you guys all the books that I plan to read either before 2021 or in 2021. I want to read the entire Twilight um, series. I read this in elementary school, don't ask me why. I just want to say I was pretty advanced at reading. So oh, sorry. Anyways, I haven't read these books in forever. So I, I'm planning on reading all of these. I actually got Midnight Sun when it came out. Have not cracked this bad boy open because I wanted to reread all of these books. I also want to read Life and Death. I've already read that one. It's like where all the genders are switched. Want to read that. And I also want to read the second, the short Second Life of Brie Turner or something like that. Basically, I would read all of the books in the series. Um, I feel like that would be really good. I also want to read the Harry Potter series. If you guys have been on my channel before, you know I watched the Harry Potter movies for the very first time. They were super good, so I can't imagine how good the books were. So that is another thing that I want to read. I'm going to probably read this like today or tomorrow or something like that. But yeah, this is what I'm planning on reading. Love this movie, so good. I heard it's gonna be taken off of Netflix on December 31st, and I'm sad. Anyways, want to read that. I have two books that London's parents actually gave me. So the first one is The Woman in White. I have no idea um, really the concept of this book. All I know is that it is thick and the font is very, very small, but I'm sure it's going to be very enjoyable and Books like this is like I just need to start it and get into it and Jeremy London's dad said like just stick with it because it's really good so I'm excited for this. And the second one that they gave me is Necessary Lies. Um, have no idea what this is really about but it looks pretty good. It isn't too thick so excited about this. It's called Captivating. This is a 
Christian book. I actually got this from my neighbor, Christy. She gave this book to me when I first moved in. I did read it, but I read it like in eighth grade. Like that's such a long time ago. Actually, I might not have read it all the way through. I think I just found my bookmark. Oh my gosh. It looks like I had been taking notes. And so, interesting. Okay, obviously I want to read this. This book is very old. The, the pages are like kind of yellowing, but that means it's good. So I have another Christian book. It's called Game Changing Moves. I've had this book since sophomore year. Have not cracked it open. Um, it's even signed for me, so I think that's great, but I really, really want to read this book. And then the last one I had is Live Fearless. I am pretty sure this is the second book by Sadie Robertson. I tried to start it, like I read the introduction, but then I like got caught up in my audiobooks. But yeah, so after reading this, I will have read all of the Sadie Robertson books, which is exciting. I have so many books surrounding me. My bookshelf is literally empty, if you guys can't tell. Go ahead and go put all of these books away um and yeah probably start listening to a book or reading a book if you guys enjoyed this please please like and subscribe down below i would appreciate it so much and if you guys want to see more book related content i would love to do that if you can't tell i'm a total bookworm i love reading books listening to books um I tried to write a book once. We're not going to talk about that. I'm so excited for this new year. Maybe set a goal to read some books for the new year. It is a goal you can accomplish. I know when I'm setting new year's resolutions, I don't want to do something that's unrealistic. So having quarantine actually did help me accomplish my, my new year's resolution. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. I have been rambling for way too long. So that's the end. Peace and love. Bye guys. Happy reading. Hey, feeling good, like I should.